Alright, one thing I've been meaning to do is put my Chow into one last fucking race. I want to do the most baby baby race with my god Chow. I like never did a super... Oh, all my things. Where are you, little level? He's dozing. Alright, I want the smallest race imaginable. Beginner race climbing. Level 1. I think this is the one. No block canyon. Compete in a strength. Look at all these infant chow. Plus me. What's the next dream? Probably Mario Galaxy 1. He's wondering what he's doing here. Dude, I'm about to cream these fucking chow, okay? Look at these little fucking runts. Galaxy 1. If I do Galaxy 1, I'll probably do Galaxy 2. I fell? So much for that. I want to get a new best time. Damn it. <laughs> How did I fall in that tiny distance? You have such a small chance of falling. <laughs> Damn it. I'll give it another go, because I do want to get a... I want to see the... I have, like, the best strength you can have without reincarnating almost. So I want to see how... Like, this will be the smallest time that I can possibly take in any stage, because this is the shortest stage. I will probably not play Sonic Mania, or at least not anytime soon. I don't believe in the Sonic... Like, I don't even believe that Sonic games are good. Oh, I want to look at all my alternate carts, because apparently I have an alternate cart for every single character. I want to see what they look like, at least. I fucking used one stamina and he fucking tripped. Oh shit, I can stamina non-stop from start to finish, can't I? Yeah. Well, whatever. I need the emblems, though. My child is pretty great. I like him a lot. He absolutely bodied Chow Karate, it was funny. Let's look at your attributes really quick. Good morning. Those are nice high stats. I right, go back to sleep. Oh, I want to check my shop! I forgot about that. I probably have the new themes and stuff. Hmm. This one... I never got the achievement for all stats above level 10 until the third Chow. This one's kind of cute. I like its face. Bubbles. I bothered to name this one. Didn't name the dark one, I don't think. Treated it like shit and didn't even name it. Hi. This one does not have a name. Also missing power and swim. Isn't there an egg in here somewhere? Or like a baby chow? Man fucking fell. He still loves me. Mm, kawaii. It's hard to do, but it's possible to um put them in this little cage. I think it's this one. Oh shit, I missed him. And if you actually put them up there, they can flutter down. And unfortunately, that's like the only place in all of Dark Garden where you fly. Which is kind of sad. What a good show.
Apparently, the break getting the face from breaking eggs is a myth, from everything I've read, albeit a very often circulated myth. Shiny brown egg. I have a lot of rings. The themes are not for sale, though. I don't know how you get the other themes. I thought they were supposed to be in sale. That's the only shop in the whole game, so... I'll reload it just to see. It's apparently 100% random. But it's determined the very nanosecond you get the egg. So for example, you can throw the chow at the wall or not throw the chow at the wall and you can just reload it. And it'll have the same face. Same items. How do you reload it? I don't know how to make the shop have different items. Maybe just go to a level and leave. I'll try that just for the hell of it. And then we've got a... I've got to close the game reopen it if I want to do the um, final challenge. CD Escape is actually one of the longer levels in the game. I remember playing as Sonic and Shadow in Chow Garden and accidentally attacking Chow all the fucking time. Because their jump hurts the Chow. Maybe you need to buy the lower level themes before you can- SAME ITEMS! I don't know how to reload it. Maybe you have to beat a level. Maybe you have to like, into the main menu or something. Whatever. Rouge is like the best one to use in the garden, honestly, because she can do all the tricks really easily, and she's got the gliding. It's harder to do the item placement trick with Knuckles. It's very hard to do it with Eggman. Tails is also good. Rouge and Tails are like the best ones. Alright. Okay, that won't open. Album results. 29 hours. That's a while. Oof. Themes aren't just unlocked or anything, are they? Nope. Maybe they removed the other themes. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna go to the kart race, and then the multiplayer. Why does it say hide? So that's the default. This one looks more like Sonic's head, I guess. And it also has radically different stats, which I didn't think they were gonna do. So I actually, un I should have done this last, because the kart sign lock could have been really good. What? <laughs> Tails, <laughs> Tails is alternate as a chow. It's cute. This is like better stats. Oh my edge. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Look at those stats. Yeah, it's even more extreme than Sonic. That's probably the fastest car in the whole game. That one's cool. That one looks like one of his little floating ships. A lot of grip. This one's literally like almost completely... Yeah, this one's just objectively better. And then we... I'm a bad Nick! I wanna, I wanna race around as a bad Nick. I'm not gonna do a, get the full three laps. Whoa, weird. Nice skin. Drifting, everything still works. Plays exactly the same. It looks like it's got some okay stats. Not bad, not bad. I want to try the chow car.
And then I want to see how fast I can get the Shadow Car to go. And then we'll go into the two player mode. And I'll try and do that. It's that noise. Why does it make such a cute noise? It's like a toy car. Boy, that flight. Blip, blip, blip. I've got like super low weight compared to the other cars or something. I don't think there's any jumps in the beginner though. Vroom vroom. It doesn't appear to have super good stats. I'm not really keeping up with the other cars at all. Nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. This car has awful everything. Oh, I'm going pretty fast now. Holy shit, Shadow. Slow down. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it's fast. a fun car. Yeah, I like this one. I don't even want to know what boost does. Do it next straight away, I find. Because up. Damn, my time was real good. For a bit. Help. 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 Help, I'm going too fast. Pretty good time. I shaved off like 10 seconds. Even with that, like, hit. Alright, so now I have to... Unfortunately, I think I have to plug in a second controller, and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that, because... Uh, hold on. Let me see. I don't know if... I don't know how... I don't know how plug-and-play works. Damn it, I just... It's so easy to turn on my fucking PS4 just by even going near it. Alright. Here's my other controller. I've got to find a fucking USB port on this beast. I need a USB hub. I only have two USB ports on the front. One of them is my controller and the other one's my headphones. And it's like, wow, it'd be kind of nice if I had more. Reaching around behind my computer and I hit the power switch. You can't get it in. Does anyone else know that feel? I'd hope if I could fucking see anything.
Good lord. It was in the super position. Woo. Alright, be right back. And by be right back, I mean I'm reopening the game. And I'm not actually going anywhere. Alright, so there is a final achievement to unlock for this game, and it will be stupid. That's my warning. I've got two controllers here in front of me because I don't have any friends. I need to configure this controller. It should just be an X360 CE. I mean, X360. What do you call that? X input. Because it's um, a three six. It's a. It's an Xbox 360 controller. Okay, I see that. Oh, I didn't configure it at the main menu. I forgot. Hold on, time out. Well, not the main menu. Like the pre-boot menu. That's where you have to configure it. Player two. Gamepad. So I could have actually controlled player two with the control with the keyboard. File select. Alright, that worked. Random. I forgot Chow Race and Chow Karate were a thing. And Kart Race. Wow, that's pretty lazy. Supersonic Hedgehog, ultimate life form made by Professor Gerald. Speed increase, attack with 40, stop time. Cheerful and happy girl. What's these stars? Sonic and Shadow have five each. Amy has three and Metal Sonic has four. Sonic type robot that debuted in Sonic CD. Good acceleration has no special attacks. Cheerful and happy girl in love with Sonic. Not very fast, but gets attacks with less rings. Let's that doesn't show me the outfits I'm changing into. Oh, tracksuit. <laughs> I'm not expecting that. Alright, so what do I actually have to do for this last achievement? Time out. Play all four, all level four stages in Action Race. It says play. Do I have to finish them? This is going to take a really long time to finish. Does it count if I like don't do them? <laughs> what happens if Shadow dies? Let me actually test that really fast. Okay, he's got a checkpoint. I don't want to... Alright, let's just make an attempt to play all levels. Alright, what other characters do we have? Echidna who protects the Master Emerald. Special attack with each 20 rings collected. 5 and 5 for these two as well. Treasure Hunter who specializes in jewels. Knuckles Tribe Girl from Sonic Adventure. Quick but weak attacks and hunting skills. Chaos Emerald Guardian from Sonic Adventure. Moves slow but strong attacks and punches. He's only a 3 and Tikal's a 4. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess it's Chaos Zero. It's like the baby Chaos.
Alright, what are these alts? This better be the hottest rouge in the universe. It's just a bunch of track suits. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Camera, get closer to me. Help, I got stuck. How do I get it to zoom in? The Eclipse? I haven't even, like, thought about that. Yo, this Rouge, though. I want a better look at it, damn it. I stopped time. I should go look at the Eclipse instead of, like, sitting in here and fucking playing video games. I actually shouldn't look at the Eclipse, I guess, technically speaking. Tails. Fox with two tails. Use Cyclone to fight special attack with every 20 rings. Evil genius who despises Sonic. These are also both 5 star. Oh, well, the Dark Child Walker is stronger. I guess it's more adult. Heart attacks defense but slowest character. Red. It'd be cool to be able to use these in the sing in the base game. Why are they locked into versus mode? Took me to Chow World, baby. Are there any level 4 stages here? I doubt it. I don't even have multiple Chow I want to use. Alright, no 4 here. So I guess you do have to finish every single one. In which I, all I have to say is what a bitch. Um, I might do that sometime later, but I'm not going to do it right now. I might just come back to this in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean not now. Um, but we'll get that eventually. You can't just get, like, all but one. And then stop at one. Action race, treasure hunter, is super shooting battle. Yeah. Uh, it's going to take, like, two seconds in uh, shooting battle. Treasure Hunter and Action Race will take... Well, Action Race... I basically have to finish... Okay, that's actually not going to take very much time at all. Because this is just, like, what shoot the other guy until I win. Twice. This is Find Emeralds twice. And then this is do Final Rush and Final Chase. So I just have to do Final Rush and Final Chase, basically. Well, I kind of want to do that. Oh, I'm going to take a quick look outside to see if, like, the sun is doing its thing. Be right back.
No, I probably missed it. That wasn't shit. Why is that like a real Dorito? Why is there an emote that's just a Dorito? Why is there a Dorito emote now, Mountain Dew? Final Rush and Final Chaser are a good bookend to this game, to be honest. And before both characters have to pass the finish line, I have to do it basically four times. That's a real thing that could happen. Why is there any mode that's just a sloth? I got a little bar on the bottom telling me how well I'm doing. So you know the Chaos Control and the Sonic Winds that they used in the um, storyline battles you can actually use in this little mode. The rings are just so you can use attacks against each other. So for example, I'm now at 72, I can use a... Uh, oh, still Sonic Wind? I thought I could stop time. Tokyo Tomare! No bounce! I don't have any of my power ups. It's weird, but like now I kind of like Sonic. I, I kind of like. Uh, whoa. I've come around to. Um, I've turned off of, of, of Final Rush and turned on to Final Chase. And now I think I might like Final Chase more. We got Sonic Wind. Sonic Wind. Yes. Killed him. He comes to my checkpoint. One person unlocks checkpoints for both characters. It's not actually going to be a giant chore to replay this level if I have to. Or rather, to get both characters to finish it. Keep sending McDonald's. My local McDonald's had N64s in it until not too long ago. Oh, the stage is a lot longer than I remember. I think I'm pretty close to the end. It's different. The stage is slightly, the layout is slightly different from like the normal. Doing this, doing this stage competitively against a friend actually sounds insanely fun to me. An enemy? All this time, and I only found one enemy. I didn't think there'd be any. Only one person needs to finish. Here we go. I should have picked the off characters. Why'd I pick these two? Time out, I'm gonna change. I wanna play as Amy. <laughs> Jesus. Five nights at Freddy's.
This is... I've already got all emblems. This is involved in, um... Whoa. Amy is slow. She also doesn't jump very high. And we also really have a lot of enemies, too. Amy's, like, very slow. Amy a cute. Yeah, it definitely made the stage a little easier. I'm already halfway through it, what the fuck? Not halfway, like a third. Where'd that bottom spring go? Probably somewhere really cool. Did I see Ponsu? Pretty sure I did. This is as fast as Amy can run. Dude, Ponsu. She's got Sonic's tumble and not her hammer. She holds her hammer. She doesn't seem to be able to use it. Whatever. Not like I care. Am I really? Yeah, I'm right next to the exit. This is basically a radically different level than the one Shadow does. Amy or Rouge? Rouge. Not even a question. Alright, so now things should get really fast. Tashiwa Tikal. I remember, like, you're supposed to, like, look for an emerald, right? But, like, one of you can just sit around and dig over and over and find rings pretty easily. And then just attack the other player. Like that. They get stronger as you get more rings, too. It's, like, very annoying. Playing to Call is actually really cool. This is the only game where you can. She's only playable for Sonic Adventure 2 versus mode. Otherwise, she doesn't exist. Captive Light. Tokyo Tomare. Alright, whatever. How did I just get an emerald? What? That guy had one. I thought it would only be a first of one since there's only one emerald thing at the bottom. I really hate this stage and I don't want to be back here. Why is this one level 4 stages? Is there a digging? Huh. I said digging, I meant digging to get between different portions of the map. And yeah, they added an entire blue section. Okay, I'm suddenly very close to it. There was no green. So I guess it's a first of three. I mean, a first of two. Best of three. Mad Space is a good level. This is actually one of my favorite stages in the game. I know it really well, it's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, 
Okay, it's a call. Anytime you want to find emerald. There's no green. There's just like yellow and red. I wonder if that makes it a lot harder to find. Because it seems like it would. Why don't I just read these? What? Opening on with what? That's not opening. Open. It is imp opening. Container with the opening. It's all backwards. It's not anagrams, it's just backwards. Well, it's a container, that makes it real simple. Got a bunch down here. Oh, you know what? I think it was one of the ones at the very top, wasn't it? That have, like, the absolute no openings. There's like two vertical ones? I don't remember. There's not like a flight thing up here. Not a flight, but you know. It's not a narrow and long place. I think that means that it is. Very close. Aha. Uh -huh. One down. That took a while. Where's the computer? I was just near one. Oh. I can't go up anymore. I have to be really close to it. Yeah, it's great. Name two of its albums. The top of the capsule. I'm guessing the capsule refers to this big green thing. But I've been wrong. Meteorite without grass. This one appears to have grass. The real question is which one doesn't. Give me the last computer hint. There's gotta be a computer around here somewhere. the capsule meteorite? What does that mean? Aha. Don't burn a hole in your retinas, dog. I clicked off the um dead dead. Alright, this should take like two seconds. There might be a third level 4 stage that you can unlock some way or another. I doubt it. What is this stage? Oh, 
Alles bis jetzt. No bully. That was very low damage. Oh, I got the achievement. That's it. Got it, boys. You do have to just win with every single. So let's go over the list of achievements because I feel good that I got them all. Hello, world. Clear stage one on either side. Name your chow. I could have beaten the whole game without doing that. Raise all five properties of any chow to level 10. Clear hero story. Clear dark story. Clear all three modes in boss attack. Win all A ranks in any one stage. Raise a chow to hero and a dark chow to... Or, that's it. Raise a hero chow and a dark chow. Clear last part in story mode. So that's the final. Win number one in expert level in cart race. 90 emblems. Win A rank in all stages in story mode. That's, like, nutty. Beat all your enemies in super level in Chow Karate one player mode. Unlock un all 180 emblems, and then also play all level 4 stages in action races or 100 in shooting battle. That's it, boys. Let's see how other people did. Hello world, clear stage 1 on either side in story mode is only 80% of all players. And then clear hero side is 22%, and clear dark side, which is shorter, mind you, is 18%. More people want to play Sonic than Shadow. Pretty close though. A lot of people name their chow. Clear last part in story mode. So this is beating the game. That's just what beating the game is. 12.8% um, of people beat the game. 8% of people got all their chow stats up to uh, level 10. Almost the same percentage got um, at least one hero and at least one dark. So that's like kind of surprising to me that that's hi that high. Although I guess it's pretty easy. When all A ranks in a single stage is 5%. Finishing Chakrati is 3%. Oh, no one touches Cart Race. No one touches Boss Attack. 90 Emblems is 2.8. 180 Emblems is 1. So a lot of people are on that journey. That's kind of surprising those two are so close together. If people are going to bother to get 90, they're going to bother to get 180 like a third of the time, or maybe more than a third of the time, and just these people are in the process of. But I guess that makes sense, because getting 90 is so far on the way to getting 180, because you only need to get like 40 to like 100%, or I should say beat the game. Not even 40 to beat the game. Then a bunch of people didn't bother to do the level 4. If you didn't look at the list of achievements, you'd never know to try that. It's like a multiplayer only achievement. I mean, the hardest emblems to get are technically speaking the Chow ones if you're playing fairly. So, like, getting all A's is. it's most of the way. But some of the Chow ones are just so time consuming. Alright. Um I'm done. With Sonic Adventure 2. I think I'm gonna go shopping right now and then record a cooking with Beth and then probably eat. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna either nap or I'm gonna stream recording stream scripting uh, Rising Up 4. I think that's my current plan for today. But for right now, I'm gonna leave. And I guess I'll cut this up and put it on YouTube. It's gonna be spinach and feta pie. I might get a little creative with it, but I'm probably just gonna use Bisquick.